Hey guys, how's it going? Anthony Mutraja here back with a new video lesson for you all. In today's lesson, I want to take you through the basics of Konakol. Okay, Konakol is a South Indian percussive syllable thing or spoken word almost, but purely percussively driven. That's native to South India and heavily um, used and found in Carnatic music. And this is also something found very popular in my hometown in Sri Lanka. Yes, I'm from Sri Lanka. Um, so it's something I kind of grew up with. I grew up in the household with a lot of old um, South Indian music. Um, seeing that I speak Tamil, Tamil is a pretty old language. So a lot of that old music and a lot of contemporary stuff too is so traditionally ingrained especially on the rhythmic side of things. And I also studied Carnatic music in school. So unconsciously, a lot of that has grown into my music, especially my rhythmic side, um, my sense of time, or just being able to understand odd meters and metric modulations and all that. Um, obviously, as a kid, I hated it because it's so difficult. But recently, I sat down trying to devise a little workout for the bass guitar. And then I thought, hey, it'll be good to talk about this and share it with you guys so you can take away what you like and discard what you don't. Okay, so basically you have syllables um, from one to five. Okay, so one being one note, two being two, etc, etc. Okay, so one is ta. Okay, so if you have a quarter note and you just sing all the ones will be ta, 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 ta. Okay? Two is ta, ke. So ta, ke, ta, ke, ta, ke, ta, ke. Three would be ta, kita. Ta, kita, ta, kita, ta, kita, ta, kita. Okay, for four, you have two variations. You have ta, ke, dimi or ta, ke, juna. Okay? That is four. You use either or, okay? So taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, or taka juna, taka juna, taka juna, taka juna. The reason we don't use them back to back is if you use them back to back, it implies a two quarter note phrase as opposed to one quarter note phrase. So taka dimi, taka juna, taka dimi, taka juna, okay? Think of it as a one four versus a two four in context of time signature. Five, there are three ways to go about it, okay? The first one is to take two and three, so taka takita, so taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, which is the same as one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Or you can do takita taka, which is one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, takita taka, takita taka. Or there's five different sets of syllables which are altogether new. Dadi ginadu, dadi ginadu, dadi ginadu, dadi ginadu. Okay, so these are the five important ones. Essentially, everything that happens after this is a combination of these five. Okay, so if you look at six, I can do six as takita, 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 or I can do it as taka, 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 or I can do it as taka, taka, dimi, taka, taka, dimi, or Taka dimi taka, taka dimi taka, taka dimi taka. Or I can take the da digina do and I can elongate the da. So da, um, sorry, the di. Da digina do, da digina do, da digina do. What that basically is is that in six you have six notes. So you have one, two, you skip the three, four, five, six. One two four five six. One two four five six. Daddy ginado. Daddy ginado. Daddy ginado. Daddy ginado. Um, with seven, you can do three plus four. Takita takadimi. Takita takadimi. Takita takadimi. Takita takadimi. Or you can do four plus three. Takadimi takita. Takadimi takita. Takadimi takita. Takadimi takita. Or you can take the daddy ginado again. And we're going to stretch um, da and di. Da di ginadu, da di ginadu, da di ginadu, da di ginadu. So it's one, three, one, three, 
one three five six seven one three five six seven one three five six seven okay and then eight would be takadumi takajuna takadumi takajuna takadumi takajuna okay or takajuna takadumi or you can do takita takita taka takita takita taka or taka takita takita taka takita takita or I can do dadi gana do takita takita dadi gana do tak okay so you can mix and match now just a disclaimer I'm not claiming this is the absolute truth of Konoko this is what I have taken out of it and what I find extremely useful with it because the rhythmic value of all of these things is extremely huge because um, to answer a question I get asked a lot about how I practice odd meters I don't practice odd meters as much as I practice odd groupings because if you're able to practice odd groupings you should be able to handle odd meters easier because odd groupings involve manipulating a single quarter note or a half note however you please now the cool thing with the Konoko system is that um, you can take a scale okay I'm gonna take a C major scale I'm gonna start with ta and I'm going to go all the way to 8, which is Taka Dimi Taka Juna. But I'm not going to do this. I'm going to play all the Taka or Takita on each note of the scale. Okay? And I just want you to listen to it. Okay? My metronome is at 54 BPM, which is a fairly comfortable note for, um, I mean, fairly comfortable tempo for 30 second notes or the Taka Dimi Taka Juna. Okay? So we're going to do just a scat. So ta, 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 ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, dimi, ta, ka, dimi, ta, ka, dimi, ta, ka, dimi, ta, di, gi, na, do, da, 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 di, gi, so we just cycled from 1 all the way to 8 with the scat. Now we're going to try to apply it with the bass, with scales. It's going to be a little hard, but let's see how it goes. 3, 4, ta, 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 ta. I'm going to try to sing out the syllables as much as I can. Da. Da ka 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 da ki da 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 ki da da ki da alternate pick all the way rake where relevant ki da da ki da da ki da da ki da da ka di mi da ka di mi da ka di mi da ka da ka di mi 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 Thank you. 
That's hard. Um, I struggle from going to five to six, six to seven. Those are tricky because I tried using the same syllables, but it didn't really work out. So that's why I did takita takita for the six. And then for the seven, I did takita takadimi just to get myself into it. And then I started singing da di ginadu, da di ginadu. Okay. There are plenty of useful videos, um, uh, channels, and a lot of um, writing write ups you can find on Konoko if you want to get deep into it. But this is something that's pretty basic in my opinion and you can start to explore a lot of other things, okay? Now while ta, taka, takita, they all imply one, two, three, four, five, etc. You can stretch them out into different rhythmic uh, figures. So if I do, say for instance, um, dotted eighth notes, okay? Let me put up... Okay, this is a dotted eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever it is. Okay, a dotted eighth note would take three bars of four to resolve back on beat one. So you can do it like ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi, ta, ka, di, mi ta ka di mi ta ka di mi ta ka di mi ta ka di mi resolve okay so you can take this and make it into a phrase for a groove or a melodic idea so if i would take that and try to play scales ta ka di mi 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 okay what's interesting is it takes three bars of four but i still resolve properly when i take the scale into context okay so that goes to show it's all about where you go with it and the resolution so Konoko explores that heavily. They take certain kinds of phrases and then they just take it for a run. So they would do stuff like ta ka di mi 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 ta ka ta. Okay, so I use the last taka to resolve because I'm doing groups of three and then I'm moving it around. So taka di mi 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 taka pa. Something like that. That's a very simple example of a rhythmic phrase and then you can apply it with the bass. that I just tried to switch to five from there so bottom line bottom line is that <coughs> instead of constantly counting our numbers the corner call gives you these syllables which are far more singable and they also help ingrain these subdivisions and odd groupings in your head. So if I'm playing a groove, groove in seven, okay, I'm gonna put the click at back at 54. Okay, 
Okay, I'm pretty rusty with it, but I hope you get the idea. I'm using a click at 54 and I'm just trying to go between the 5 and 7. Um, when I went to the 5, it was pretty smooth, which goes to show I practice 5 way too much. I should work on my 7s. Okay, so take this, practice your odd meters and odd groupings this way. Constantly try to, if not vocalize, at least hear that in your head. Alright? Whatever it is you feel comfortable with, go for it. And yeah, that's about it. I might do a follow up lesson or two because this has been fun. I didn't think it'd be fun. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the shadow until the next one. Peace.